I am so excited you guys are here. Welcome and to welcome back today. I've said this before in a previous video, I want to say maybe one or two videos back that I was going to be bringing you guys some cleaning of the boys room. This is one video of one of my boys, my middle son Cameron. He's a hot mess y'all. As you guys can see, this is his version of clean and um, that's not my version of clean. So we are going to literally go through everything. I'll be going through his closet, clearing all that out. I will be uh, cleaning underneath his bed. I'll be going through his bins and explaining a lot of things along the way as to why things are the way they are in his room. Um, it's just, it's crazy. This boy needs a lot of um, help <laughs> from me. But we're gonna first start off in the closet and just organize this. Um, one of my pet peeves with these boys is when they take their clothes off the hanger, the hanger's just hanging all wonky and crazy and yeah, that's not necessary. So we will be um, taking care of those. I'll also be taking out of a lot of his clothes or shirts that he does not wear um, that I know that don't carry much of any sentimental um, value, but just know just things that I know that he does not and will not wear. So I went ahead and did all of that. Um, and funny enough, when he came home and he saw his closet, he says, whoa, okay. All of my shirts are hung up. All of his uh, britches are hung up. I, uh, you know, I, I teach them these skills, y'all. <laughs> teach them these skills. But sometimes they need a little extra help. So that is what today's video is all about. Me giving him that extra help of just going through everything and decluttering and cleaning things out. Um, so if you are here for some motivation, y'all, I hope, I hope you are uh, ready for it. Today is some serious stuff. I was able to get rid of two trash bags full of things, uh, one bag for donation, um, just a lot. There's a lot. So let's get into today's video as we clean his room, start off in the closet, and you guys are going to see his floor. Man, but let's get into today's video. down on the table knowing there's no way that you'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else in the making first she's just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there but she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna fail like this whenever she leaves her safe space. She leaves her safe space. Wondering if it is forever, or is there some place that will make her feel better? Make her feel better. Then that's where she'll go. So one of the things that I needed to make sure that I did was go through his bins, as I mentioned before. Needed to organize everything again, put all of his um, socks in, his, in one bin, his shorts in another, uh, his tank tops, pajama pants, all of that. Um, the reason why we do it this way instead of a dresser was one, when we started to transition a bunch of things out of here, um, one, he had had a uh, bed frame that we'd stored in his closet that is now at my mother's house and so we i couldn't <clears throat> when i purchased it i actually got it to refinish and 
to sell because I had a business at the time where I was refinishing uh, furniture. And um, I had already redid the armoire, still needed to work on the bed, but um, I just never got around to doing that. So we just stored it in his closet, which took up a lot of space. And so he prefers to have this system versus a dresser drawer. Um, and I, I respect it. I thank him for it because this was actually given to us from one of my closest friends. Um, so he used it as his little TV stand slash dresser slash junk bins, all of the above. But um, noticing that he would at times, instead of putting his clothes away, would just shove everything in these drawers or in these bins. It just became a mess. And so I needed to dedicate some time to really go through these bins and of course I found more clothes that needed to be hung or things that I knew he never wore before or wore ever or will ever wear so that is what I'm doing and we'll take some time doing this for a bit and then you guys <laughs> he had hats in here he had uh when he saw that I put them on the wall he goes wait when did I get all of those you've had them they were just shoved in your bins but I'm not out here on my, out here on my own I'm buzzing, let's drink up Your death look like big fun Come on, let's get it on Like that muffin gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave So throughout the video, you're going to catch me dusting because this room, yet again, has yet to be dusted in quite some time. So we're going to be dusting a lot. And I think I went through like oh, five, maybe even six cleaning rags due to dusting because of how much dust was accumulated in here. This room gets extremely warm um, because the sun beams through the window there. So I had to put up some, um, what are they called? Sun blackout uh, curtains to kind of help with that. So I'll be doing that here in a little bit. Um, 
but I needed to just dust this bookshelf and just clean up so much stuff. There was just, it was just dust everywhere, you guys. So I'll be doing that. Um, again, in addition to just finishing up going through all of his bins and um, here I'm just kind of reorganizing them of what goes up top because the ones that were up top were all of his little gadget bins and for him being so tall, I told him, put all your, you know, your unmentionables, your socks and stuff that you wear all the time, put it on the top, you know, use the second, you know, the top three sections of this for all of your clothes and then use your bottom row for all of your knickknacks or things of that nature. So that is what I ended up doing for him, just kind of reorganizing that for him. So this is all that was swept from either underneath his bed and out of his closet on the floor. So I needed to find new homes or find or put them back where they belong. Um, and believe it or not, I still was able to sweep up more from underneath his bed. I told him with all of the trash that I found underneath his bed, I could have done a whole new grocery shop just from all the wrappers. Um, there are Welch's chewables, there's Yoo-Hoo's, there's crackers. There was just so much stuff, you guys, so much stuff. But we are going to tackle all of this and get this all clean. And believe it or not, I'm surprised with all of the trash that was in here that I didn't find bugs. Um, so thank, thank thank heavens <laughs> that there weren't any bugs in there but that doesn't mean if they if I didn't see them they weren't in there but we needed to go through all of this I found things that were ripped and torn um and uh I think that there was also another towel underneath his bed that I found there was just so much stuff so we need to really go through all of this and again this is not to bash my kid this is reality this is what boys do um, I used to be this way actually, but when I was much younger, um, until the cleaning bug got me, um, I'm not sure when the cleaning bug is going to get my boys. I'm hoping very soon. I actually had a conversation with my oldest and said, is this how you're going to live on your own? Cause his room is a disaster as well. He said, no, yeah, maybe no, I don't know. Um, hopefully not. So. <laughs> Oh, my Lanta. So let's, uh, let's just say a little prayer for me, you guys, for my boys to hopefully get it at some point. Um, because I, this is, this is insane.
needed to make sure that I got cleaned was this window ledge or seal or set or chair or whatever you want to call it you're able to sit on this window um, by this window on the ledge oh heck I hope you guys know what I'm talking about but you're able to sit there and enjoy the view outside the window um, but he never uses it for that it becomes a catch-all so I need to make sure that I cleaned up that cleaned up behind this, uh, his TV stand slash dresser and also dust the window. And this is when I'm going to put up the um, sunblock. I don't know what these things are called, but they are supposed to help with blocking the sun. And um, I'm hoping that they're working for him unless I need to go get more panels. Uh, these panels were actually used to help um, as a door in his bedroom um, because, and if, when we get there you'll see he doesn't have a door uh the reason for that is when he shared a room with my youngest they broke the door so i took it off and i said no more but i put up the panels because we had company stay with us for um a few a few days and this was the biggest room in the house to kind of house all of them and um i wanted to put the curtain up to give them some privacy and I took it back down because of the mess in his room. And I said, that's it. The door comes off um, until this room can stay clean. And, uh, or the, per the, can the curtains come off until this room can stay clean. And as you guys can see, that's still a bit of a struggle. So we're going to hang up all of his hats. Um, I had found some more along the way, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, and it actually looks really cute. I love displaying their hats. Um, and uh, Liam has them up on his wall. Um, uh, here in Florida and they're also up on the wall in their room up in Ohio so he's got hats up there as well because um, it's just you know cool to see them decide which hat they want to wear to match their outfits for the day we are very big on baseball caps I wear them one because you know we're at baseball tournaments and you know football games and so on and so I will rock a hat or or sun visor any day um, but that's if all this hair can fit underneath it but so we're going to finish sweeping and cleaning out uh his desk area and kind of just get back into um sweeping this floor some more and also dusting some more i know what i need to do
So he's had this little uh, end table for a while now in his room, but never we could never find the right place for it. And I wanted to make sure that he was um, able to have an end table and with, with a lamp. And he has a lamp and he never used it either. So I'm hoping by me placing it here, uh, it'll actually get some use um, because he, as you guys can see, he's he plays video games here. Sometimes he'll even do his schoolwork here. Um, but I wanted to make sure that this corner gets lit um, away from his bed so that if by any chance he falls asleep with the light, it doesn't really warm up because this is a hot lamp, um, which I may end up switching out for him. Um, but I love the base unless there's a, a, a bulb out there that doesn't give out too much heat. So if you guys know of anything like that, let me know. So now we're over onto the bed and needing to um, get this made. So I'm going <laughs> to have to put them out there. So I gave him, I went and bought him new sheets and I bought him a comforter. The throws you guys can see are the gray one. The green one came from my mother. Um, she wanted to know if the boys wanted that. Wanted... Um, she, she gave me a green one and a blue one, and both my older boys took them. Um, and so uh, Cameron took the green one, my oldest boy took the blue one, but um, when I gave him his sheets and his blanket, I said, here, make your bed. This joker put the, the gray one down first and then put the fitted sheet on. So before y'all get on me, I am putting it back the way he wanted it. So I'm putting it down first. He says that it's comfortable and it feels great. And so I said, all right, if that's what you want, since he's already got another blanket, plus this is also going to help protect the, uh, the comforter, or I'm sorry, the mattress. Um, these are boys that, you know, can definitely go to sleep with their just they can be nasty they can go back to sleep with what they went to school with and 
you know, and sometimes they're just wild. So I just wanted to make sure I protect the mattress. Um, but I, uh, you know, when I was straightening out the, the fitted sheet, I was like, well, you know, this does feel a little nice. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to do that for them. And I also put the flat sheet on top and tucked that in. Um, extra protection for the mattress and so we'll be doing that here um, and uh, you guys <laughs> just laughing at myself um, he also didn't have any pillows well actually no he did have pillows he was using them as cushions on the chair because apparently his behind gets too tired while he's sitting and playing video games all day and so I took those and I threw them away because one they were old and two they were just nasty looking and I gave him my old king size pillows now I mentioned before that you know I sweat I was sweating and it stained them and I just wanted for myself I wanted something new I gave him my older ones after washing them they're still stained and uh, one of my friends here Mandy was telling me that um, the stain is probably still there because I'm using bleach and bleach makes things yellow so I'm going to try to use something else um, on them when I change his bed um, I'll definitely wash it all at once and uh, so I he needed new pillows and I was like I'm not going to the store I've got these you'll just use these until I can get you some other ones or unless I can get the stains off of them plus these got super super soft and um, I could not sleep well uh, sleep well with them so um, he loves them as you guys saw he was sleeping with Pablo uh, the llama <laughs> that's what we've named him uh, I got that llama a few years back maybe four years ago uh, for Valentine's Day um, from the hubs and uh, the kids loved him so much so Cameron took him and started using him as a pillow <laughs> this is just some of the mess that was taken out I had already taken two other bags out that we were no one other bag out that I was using for trash um, and as you guys can see the basket full of dirty clothes that I found in his room um, that also needed to get taken care of but you guys this is a hot mess y'all <laughs> if y'all understand please let me know downstairs or downstairs Please let me know down in the comments um, if you guys feel my pain. Um, but there's nothing like taking care of my boys. I know that they've got, you know, they certain things aren't a priority. Their room being cleaned isn't a priority. Their studies is and their athletics, you know, are. And so I just want to make sure that they understand as well that, you know, house responsibilities 
um, that is that should be priority as well. Um, but I do give them grace for it. I let them know that it's okay, but they do need to make sure that they help around, especially when their dad travels a lot. Um, I can't be uh, doing this all the time. And you, you guys know, I don't show you guys many, many videos or bring you much content in regards to the room. It's usually my room, my bathroom or their bathroom, um, and the living spaces and also the kitchen. Um, I don't bring you guys, um, their room. And the reason why for one, it's privacy. It's and two, when I, I, I talk about my boys with love, <laughs> with love. I don't do it to shame them. Um, kids are going to be kids. Boys are going to be boys. Um, but you know, it's, it comes with the territory of having, having very active babies, right? So, um, and they will always be my baby. So as you guys saw, this boy has a theme of anime. He loves anime. Um, he watches it. He's got posters everywhere. He'll, he wants to start building his figurine collection. I'm like, dude, no, that's just too much. That's just too much. So we are going to finish this video with not only showing you guys the after, but uh, doing a quick mop in his room. Um, I'm using the methods. Was it the floor shine or the floor cleaner? I'm not sure. I haven't used it in forever, but um, I had some left over and I want to make sure I used it all. And I actually did. I used every bit of it in his room. Um, but thank you guys so very much for being here. I hope that today's video brought you tons of motivation and inspiration. Um, I it felt so good to see his room all nice and clean and he was very appreciative. He thanked me from the moon and back, but I also warned him if this room ever gets messy again, I was going to get on a six foot ladder and kick his behind. Um, and then I told Liam that I would do the same to him <laughs> if his room got this way or got that way. But it's all with love and jokes. But again, this is the after. There's going to be so much more coming um, on this channel. So if you guys are ready for some more decluttering and deep cleaning, please stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit the like button if you like today's video. Um, and if you are new, welcome. I really do hope you enjoyed today's video. Please introduce yourself down below if you feel comfortable doing so. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, but again, this is the after and I hope that today's video uh, motivated you or inspired you to do a little something for yourself. And thank you guys for being here as always for those that return. And I look forward to seeing you guys and chatting with you guys in the next one. Much love and God bless.